Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about comparing sexual and asexual reproduction. This will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number 7. This lesson is under the Matata curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to compare asexual and sexual reproduction The second one is to classify organisms according to the type of reproduction they exhibit And the third one is to appreciate the asexual and sexual reproduction by using a Venn diagram in activating the prior knowledge, the teacher will present the picture of different plants and animals, and then the students will identify if the picture is either sexual or asexual reproduction. While some bacteria live for a few minutes, some animals for half a century, and some plants for hundreds or thousands of years, organisms do not live forever. Without the process of reproduction, life would become to an end. It is one of the most important and fundamental process of living organisms. Organisms reproduce either asexually and sexually. Sexual reproduction occurs when a new individual is formed by the union of two sex cells or gametes. Hence, the offspring is unique or not identical to the parents or siblings. On the other hand, the asexual reproduction occurs when only one parent is involved in making a new creature. Since there is only one parent, all the traits of the mom or the dad are passed to the baby. As a result, the parent and the child are identical. Organisms reproduce in order to survive. To reproduce means to make a new life. Reproduction sustains the species so that it does not become extinct. In work example, the students will answer the activity called, Is it sexual or asexual reproduction?
So, the students will decide which type of reproduction is being described by the following statement. So, they are going to write A if it is a sexual reproduction and S if it is sexual reproduction. In making of generalizations for the learners' takeaways, the students will answer the KWL chart. So using the graphic organizer, the students will answer the L column or what they have learned about the given